I am so thrilled to be back at the Carrie Mae Weems exhibition and to have you showing me around Amber. The last time I came, I was absolutely blown away because I've never seen this many of Carrie Mae Weems' works in one place. It's going to be really lovely just to talk about some of the works and why we love them so much. And it's a really nice like full circle moment for me as well because your Instagram was actually the first place where I came across Carrie Mae Weems' work. So I'm just like really excited to like talk about it with you. So yeah, shall we go around? Yes, that makes me so happy to hear. <laughs> I was really struck by these works when I first saw them because they looked like paintings and obviously Carrie Mae Weems is much more strongly associated with photography. Mm -hmm. So could you kind of tell me a bit about um, this work and why it looks this way? This series is called Painting the Town and it was made uh, in the aftermath of demonstrations in Portland surrounding the police brutality in um, May 2020. And what we're seeing here are photographs of boarded up storefronts where activists and demonstrators would write messages to each other and then they would be like repeatedly painted over. And so there's this kind of theme, I think, of erasure and a concern with invisibility which is something that runs throughout Carrie Mae Weems' work and also the show here. I think it's really powerful how when these images are sort of taken out of context and placed within a museum they almost kind of offer a whole new meaning. It's really yeah, really totally. incredible to see. Totally. Shall we go on to the next work? Yeah sounds great. Let's do it. So this is the iconic kitchen table series. Yes, and this was um, one of Carrie Mae Weems' earlier works. It really came at a pivotal moment in her career when she was kind of really trying to figure out um, what she wanted to say with her photography. And it's the first time she kind of uses herself to kind of act out all these constructed scenes on this kitchen table, which becomes a stage for all these really beautiful, intimate um, scenes about relationships and about love um, kind of playing out. One thing that really struck me when I first came to see this series and this exhibition was the fact that it was um, interspersed with text mm -hmm. and that there's actually text that accompanies the series. It's another narrative strand um, to the work on top of the photographs. It's not so much like describing exactly what's happening in the pictures. It's more like, yeah, another story and together they kind of build up all these like references um, which give an idea of like a, a whole complex world, a whole complex inner life. Absolutely. It was, it was such a wonderful experience when I first came because the text provided a whole new framework with which to view these works which are so familiar to me and so familiar to so many of us. Yeah. It's really fantastic. On my last visit, it was really illuminating to kind of see Carrie Mae Weems presented not just as a photographer, but also very much as a performance artist and a moving image artist. Can you tell me a bit about The Shape of Things? It's obviously like this incredibly powerful work which she made in 2021 and first showed in New York and now we're lucky enough to have it here. But I think it's really an extension on her photographic practice in that she is always making you aware of the body in relation to the image and the body in relation to the things around it. The layout of the installation is really, really unique. Did Carrie Mae Weems particularly want it to be shown in this way? So originally when it was conceived and shown in New York, it was a 360 degree installation, but we've kind of brought that to a semicircle here. It's a reference to cycloramas, which are like a 19th century cinema technique, and you really feel immersed in it, but at the same time allows for this dialogue to happen between that work and the works opposite, which are photographs from the Louisiana Project. I was so happy to see this um, series shown right to the end of the exhibition because it's called Museums. And can you tell me a bit more about the background of this series? So Museums was um, made in 2006, but it's an ongoing series. Yeah. And Carrie Mae Weems, she's kind of really bringing um, all these questions about the architecture of 
these buildings and how they manifest a particular power dynamic in relation to the body of the individual. And particularly um, for Carrie Mae Weems as a black woman artist, she kind of uses this guise of the muse, who she says is a way of confronting history to kind of, yeah, really bring that relationship between the artist and their surrounding into the photograph. Um, and, you know, she'd get up at like 5 a.m every morning to take these pictures when the streets were still empty barren, yeah. yeah to really kind of just give you this crazy sense of scale between the body of one person and these absolutely huge buildings and i think one thing that i found so powerful about this series being right at the end was the fact that she's standing in front of a museum and you the viewer are also within a museum and you're sort of reminded of your role and your own position within an institution like totally this. yeah i think something that carrie may weems really does in her work is to get the viewer to think about their own yeah, position in a lot of these power structures and to think about what's keeping these power structures in place and by bringing the viewer back to that awareness that they are in an art institution, that they are in this context, I think is a nice way of kind of yeah, bringing together this relationship between the artist and the viewer in a really personal way. This is a really fitting end to the exhibition. Thank you so much, Amber, for showing me around. I really enjoyed getting your perspective as a curatorial assistant. It's been so lovely talking to you about the works. What are you working on next? <laughs>